Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Farmer George's Pepper Catalog. Today's episode features my own cross. It's the Jalapeno F2. And I haven't tasted any of these peppers yet this year, so this is gonna be very exciting uh, to see what this looks like on the inside to see how it tastes. And uh, my goal was when crossing a ghost pepper and a jalapeno was to get a very, very spicy jalapeno. It doesn't really look like a jalapeno. And I really wanted to mimic the shape, taste, and size of a good jalapeno, but with a lot more heat. So we're gonna go look at the plant now, and then we'll come back in. We'll uh, take a closer look at this pepper and do a taste test and see how close we are to a jalapeno taste and uh, the crunchiness of a jalapeno. So here we are back out on the balcony and this is the Jalapeno F2 plant. I planted this plant May of 2019 in the middle of May and as soon as it developed its first true leaves I transplanted it outside because I was running short on time. You can see that it's doing really well. It's got a ton of pods. Um, the pod color starts green then matures to a nice red the strain isn't stable, obviously, you can see this one. It kind of looks like got a little nub on the bottom. But they're typically this shape right here, jalapeno-esque with uh, some weird bumps, and that's from the ghost pepper. It took about four months from seed to ripe pod, and the species of this plant, is, I'm assuming it's an annual one because the seed plant of the parent plant was the jalapeno, which is an annual and the pollen plant was a chinense, the ghost. So if you know, I'm not too sure, if you know what species it is based on that information, please leave me a comment below and I'd be happy to learn from you. And the plant grew to be about four and a half to five feet tall. I was lucky because I didn't prune it. It was, uh, it's got these strong bottom stems and then developed this beautiful canopy above. Flower color is white and that's a similar white flower as you can see on an annuum or a chinense type species. It's got an indeterminate growth pattern and the bud per node number is about two to three on average. This is pretty much the plant. It's still got a lot of uh, pods ready to ripen up. Not as big as I wanted so it's going to take a little bit more work. Um, but. It's an all around really great plant. All right, so here's the Jalapeno F2. It's got a deep red color because the ghost and the jalapeno that I was using both ripen to be red. It's about two inches long and that is about five centimeters. At the widest part of this pepper, it's about a, uh, an inch. It's almost an inch in diameter, which is about two and a half centimeters. So, it's got a, a green stem and green calyx. It's a really bumpy looking pepper. This is not what I wanted to see when kind of trying to recreate a spicy jalapeno. So what I'm gonna probably do is cross this generation with another jalapeno plant and see what we get out of that to, to get rid of the bumps maybe. Uh, maybe that's how I'll do it. But let's take a look on the inside. What I'm hoping to see on the inside is a nice thick wall. It's a pretty firm pepper, um, but I'm kind of nervous. I think it's gonna be pretty thin. So actually, and I don't know how hot this is at all. I know the F1 was pretty darn hot. And we got some decent seeds in there I'm pretty excited about. And it smells pretty, pretty spicy, pretty floral. Uh, it's got a lot of that um, chinense type uh, smell, and the F1 had that same exact smell. So thick walls, the wall thickness is uh, medium to thick, kind of like a jalapeno, and this is what I want to see. So I'm excited about the wall. Uh, it's just the size of the pepper, and then we'll see about the taste, but um, based on the smell, I'm thinking it's going gonna, it's gonna to taste kind of like more of a ghost pepper than a jalapeno. So I'm gonna save the seeds from this one and then we'll do a taste test. All right guys, so here we have the jalapeno F2. I took the seeds out and I don't know if you can see, but there is a little bit of oil in there. 
<laughs> so I am a little nervous about this. I am going to take half because I have no idea what I'm getting into. And foolish I am for not wearing gloves. But like I said, this is a little bit of a capsicum. My, my mouth is already watering because of this. A um, little bit of a capsicum, a little bit of a floral scent, but also a little bit of a jalapeno scent. So let's just get into this. Here we go. The jalapeno F2. Cheers. Really thick walls, really crunchy. A little bit of sweetness. Tastes a little bit like a jalapeno. That's good. Needs a little bit more. Not too spicy. So, <coughs> I just, I hate swallowing. I think I've said this in other videos. I hate swallowing. It just, it's like lava going down my throat. This one's not that hot, to be honest. But it is hotter than a normal jalapeno. Um, the flavor's not there, not there yet. But it's got a slow burn, just like the ghost pepper. So it's coming up the, the roller coaster here. My mouth's watering. <clears throat> I feel a lot in the back of my throat. My tongue is a little red. My tongue's a little warm. Lots of saliva coming on. But I would say this is a little bit hotter than an orange habanero. <clears throat> Gosh, and I I didn't go back and look at that video. So look at my video on the orange habanero taste test. I think I said five and a half out of 10. This one would be a six out of 10. Um, if I had a guess, it'd be around 200,000 Scoville heat units. But I got a little bit of work to do on this pepper. Not ready for release yet. Needs a little bit more jalapeno flavor. I like the heat, so if we can keep the heat at this level, that'd be great. Um, but that's the thing about crossing. You got to keep going, and it takes years to perfect. So this is only like my second year crossing peppers. But I want to make sure I make the best pepper, and I want to make sure that these strains are stabilized before I release them. And I feel this one actually going down into my stomach. So, that sucks. Because I hate the stomach pop. That's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, stay tuned for the uh, jalapeno F3 and then subsequent crosses as I try to protect, as I try to perfect the jalapeno and get you guys a hot and spicy jalapeno. That's gonna be perfect for all you uh, pepperheads out there. So if you like the video, please give me a, a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel by clicking that logo when it pops up. And as always, I'm Farmer George. Let's share and grow together. See you next time.